Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you're working pretty hard. You're very, very focused on your work. You're using all your skills and talents and everything that you've learned to actually uh, apply it to your job. You're working under a lot of uh, deadlines. You might be dealing with a lot of information as well. And you're, you know, you're the one that's in charge over there. So you're the one that's, uh, you know, taking all that information, putting it together and coming up with a particular product or whatever you're doing uh, means that you're collaborating with a lot of people. Uh, you know, you're blending a lot of information together, uh, but you're very, very focused. You can see this man is very, very focused in what he is doing. And there is that time limit or that deadline that you're working under. And you're very, very hands-on in this particular job that you're doing at this, at this moment. It involves a lot of intellectual work. You've got this little mouse over here and a lot of books. So this is, you know, about a learning a lot about you know uh, doing very very intricate work uh, but also doing a lot of using a lot of mental energy in this particular job that you're doing so what's happening with you you've got the hierophant over here and you've got the empress card over here uh, so both cards being ruled by uh, venus uh, this one, uh, the Hierophant being ruled by Taurus and the v um, Empress card ruled by Venus. So, you know, you're in a capacity of being a teacher. So you have, uh, you know, uh, really knowledgeable about what you're doing at this particular moment. Maybe you're somebody that gives advice. You might be in some kind of consulting job uh, where people are coming to you for uh, information or advice and you're telling them how to do things. And you're very much in charge. You're quite relaxed in this particular job um, and very much in control as well. And this is the thing that is bringing in the money so maybe you're you're also very organized um, and you're dealing with a lot of uh, you know maybe resources or money or information um, you've got the empress card over here so this is talking about money coming in you've got this uh, frog over here and that usually signifies money and you know you can see both in both these cards uh, you know very established in this particular job because you're sit uh, the the hierophant is sitting and, and so is the empress and you're enjoying this job quite a bit because you've got the heart card over there she's holding a heart in her hand really so you know you're enjoying it quite a bit uh, and very very much in uh, authority and directing things you can see you know almost sitting um, there waiting for people to come and ask them for information um, this is also bringing in that abundance. You can see she's surrounded by a lot of green as well. So, you know, in a very, very uh, good position and also in a position of great authority and giving out information or advice. Now, this was a new job that you started in the last year. You've got that Ace of Rods over here. some new project that you started and you're working on that and you've been manifesting quite a bit. This little boy's got this wand in his hand and so this is the sign of manifesting. So whatever you are thinking, you know, you're able to bring it into your existence. You're very determined and you're also a person that doesn't take any nonsense from anybody you can see this person's got this woman's got uh, the um, little dwarf skewed on this um, sword over here so this is the uh, queen of swords over here you're coming across as being a person who's no nonsense who's not taking um, anything from anybody um, and you know you're very very much in charge um, so you know you're very logical and very very organized as well in this particular job you could also be dealing with some kind of legal issues as well, uh, but you know you're sorting through problems quite quickly. Now you've got the seven of rods over here, so uh, you know um, you are feeling a bit intimidated. There is a lot of there are a lot of deadlines that you're working to. Uh, you're feeling you know uh, as though there are people behind you. Um, doing things behind your back, uh, you know, doing um, um, sneaky things behind your back, um, and you're, you know, you're having to watch your back. So, uh, with that seven of rods, it's usually a card about, you know, having problems and having to defend yourself. But this is also watching your back. So you are very vigilant, and you uh, are afraid that, you know, people are not really. Um, uh, for you so maybe you're afraid that people are um, you know pretending to be friends of yours and are really not and are doing things behind your back that you um, you know you need to be watch watchful for so going into the future you've got that queen of cups over there then this is your card and this is uh, some kind of uh, you know um, this could be an offer that comes in for you or you want something uh, uh, you want an offer to come in really because her cup is empty and she's holding it out uh, it looks like you are looking to move on in this particular job you don't seem to be very very happy in it uh, because the queen of cups is generally you know even though you've got that heart over there you know it seems like maybe you started off initially being pretty happy in it but you know something's been going on because that's make you very very vigilant maybe people have been gossiping or something about it 
uh, something about deadlines. So, you know, maybe you feel like you're not going up the uh, career ladder fast enough, which is making you a little bit unhappy in the situation. And maybe you want uh, to look uh, for something more, maybe a discontent rather than unhappy. So it seems like you are, um, you know, on the lookout for a new job or a new opportunity to come your way. You're doing a lot of self-assessment as well. You've got this two of uh, um, cups over here, and you can see she's looking in the mirror. So you're looking at your situation. You're looking at how far you've come in. You're deciding whether or not, uh, you know, whatever you're doing is adequate for you or, you know, it's going according to the plans that you have in your head. So you're really thinking about it quite uh, seriously, and, you know, you're, uh, you know, assessing yourself, assessing the situation as well. So you've got the uh, two of rods over here. So you're trying to make a decision. So maybe you are making plans for the future here and uh, you're trying to move on. Uh, so there's some kind of choice that you have. So it looks like you've been looking for new opportunities or new job offers. Um, and now there, it looks like there's something that's going to come in. There looks like there's two offers coming in over here because you've got two of everything here. And a decision will have to be made whether or not you want to stay in this job or you want to move on. So in your hopes and fears, you've got the six of coins or the six of pentacles over here. It looks like you are looking for a new opportunity that pays more money uh, and you're trying to manifest that. So she's kissing the, kissing the frog, which is like, you know, um, trying to, uh, to look for opportunities and you're going all out there. And she's got the rod in her hand so she, um, or the wand in her hand. So you are trying to manifest more money with the six of um, uh, pentacles. It's about trying to get more money to come into your uh, experience. So you want a better paid job, in other words. So going to the future, you've got that eight of swords, uh, you've got the ten of swords, and you've got the seven of cups. So with the um, eight of um, swords, it's about feeling very trapped within that particular position. You're feeling a bit lonely, uh, but also very, very, very trapped as though, you know, you want to make a move, but uh, something is holding you back. So it could be some kind of legal contract that you have with this particular company that you're working with that is not allowing you to move out. And you're feeling very, very stuck uh, within that particular position. Now, you know, it, she's only being held down by these vine leaves. So, you know, it's easy for you to break this contract, but it seems like, you know, you are still feeling very, very um, stuck. And also you feel as though, you know, you don't have the uh, power to actually, um, you know, um, do things or take control. So you maybe you're not being given enough authority and this is upsetting you. You've got the Ten of Swords over here. So uh, this is about watching your back. Uh, you know, there might be people that are working against you uh, and it looks like maybe you, uh, somebody uh, is not, uh, because you are being very vigilant over here with that Seven of uh, rods. Uh, and with that ten of swords, it looks like there might be some betrayal that is going on. Or you decide that, you know, somebody has said something or done something to you that was almost backstabbing uh, and, you know, you're going to have to leave. So you are feeling very threatened within this particular job. And it looks like, um, you know, it's almost like you didn't see it coming uh, with this uh, ten of swords because she's quite uh, asleep here. So it looks like there's going to be something that happens that ends up uh, um, you know, where there's some kind of betrayal and makes you think about actually leaving that particular situation where you want to end that cycle, you have to end that cycle and move on. You've got the Seven of Cups over there about having a lot of options, uh, making plans for the future with a lot of options and deciding what to do. Right now, whatever options, you know, available to you don't seem to be something that you want. Uh, maybe even turning your back on options that are available you, for you and, um, you know, trying to decide what to do, uh, trying to pick something that's going to be better for you because you feel as though, uh, you know, the situation that you are in is very threatening in a sense, uh, you know, people are not looking out for you and so you're trying to make plans for the future and move on. So you've got all these options available. Uh, there's a lot of dark clouds in the back of here. Uh, so this means that, you know, for some reason or the other, you know, the situation, uh, you're starting to feel very, very trapped. You want to break this contract. Uh, you feel as though people are not very, very supportive of you. Uh, people are going behind you back and backstabbing you and with that ten of swords it looks like you're going to end that situation and um, you know move on uh, you're making plans here uh, with this seven of cups to actually move on you're weighing and considering all your options and you you know with this uh, queen of cups over here it's also about not being happy at all in this particular job and looking for something else to fulfill you so you are looking for uh, to change your career path you're doing a lot of self-assessment and you're doing a lot of thinking as well 
uh, about what you want to do. And you can see again over there, there's all these options that you're looking at. Because if you look at this particular card over here, you've got all these goblins in the background over here. And in the mirror over there, they're all there in the background as well. So it looks like, you know, you've got all these options. You're looking uh, to see whether or not it is, uh, you know, profitable for you to move on. And you're trying to make plans for the future. So you're doing a lot of self-assessment. There is a, some chat kind of, um, you know, choice that you're going to have to make uh, whether or not you want to move on and what is going to be good for you. So you are at a crossroads in your life and trying to decide what to do right now. For the most part, the job is quite stable, uh, you know, and you are earning quite adequately in it. Uh, but you are uh, becoming a bit discontent, a bit unhappy with where you are at at the moment. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the fairy tale for the um, Oracle read. Okay, so it looks like you might actually get this new offer and move on. Uh, so this is a beginning of a new uh, relationship. Uh, so uh, it looks like you might accept a new offer with this Ace of Summer, which is the Ace of Cups. And that looks like it might be something that even open op opens opportunities for further study or further training as well. And it looks like that's where you are going to go. So you want to start a brand new cycle. It looks like that's where you're going to go. And it's all about the work. So it's a Princess of Autumn. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships, well thought out plans that go perfectly, needing a little push to get going. So it looks like things are going to start moving for you uh, here. And um, there's a new opportunity coming. You've got a lot of books over here. So there's also that new opportunity for study as well with the Princess of Autumn. With the Ace of Cups, it's usually about study because cups uh, signify, uh, you know, uh, learning or uh, even teaching. And you've got that Princess of Autumn with a lot of books. So it's also working with a lot of information, but also in a capacity of uh, study or teaching. This could also be a promotion for you. So maybe right now you're very discontent. You're thinking of, you know, you might be thinking of actually even taking on new study or even taking on that teaching role with that um, Queen of uh, uh, Cups over there. Because you're very, very unhappy or you're very, very dissatisfied rather. And then you've got the Unity card over here, which is again the Hierophant card. Uh, and that is the first card that fell over here, which says, do the right thing for the right reason. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see what works for you. So it looks like you're going to get into a role of teaching or mentoring because you can see this old man with all these uh, younger uh, children here. So, you know, training up people. So it looks like you're going to be accepting some kind of role uh, in uh, where you have a, t um, a teaching capacity, in a teaching capacity, because all three cards are about teaching um, and dealing with information, giving out information or, re you know, training people up. And it seems like, you know, even with this Queen of Cups, you, you are quite dissatisfied with what you're doing. So you want to take out on that kind of role, that kind of capacity. Uh, you are feeling a bit threatened in this particular job as though, you know, people are doing things behind your back that you don't, uh, you're not aware of. And maybe you want to get out of the situation. So there is something brand new coming in for you. It could be a promotion, but it could be you just moving off uh, to go and do something else that involves training or, uh, you know, mentoring people as well and uh, doing the job as well. So maybe you're a bit fed up about being in this particular situation. Maybe it's becoming a bit mundane and you're, uh, you want something brand new to come in. Maybe, you know, just doing the work every single day is not fulfilling you and this is what you want. You want fulfillment with that Queen of Cups over there. So, uh, you know, it seems like, you know, you're, you're at a point where you have to make some kind of decision and you are at that point with that two of rods. You are trying to manifest something new. You are putting out feelers and it looks like that job is going to be coming in, this new job that is going to come in that brings in that role of being a mentor or a teacher, somebody who trains people up. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.